heading out. I got a banana, some pound cake. Yeah, I got my vision. I got my E4K and my GoPro, which I'm shooting at. I'm gonna go uh, try to walk at pop. I'm not uh, in the mood for vlogging, but hey, it's a vlog. Let's get started. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Showtime! I gotta kill off five seconds of the GoPro. Oh, man, it's just so overcast. It looks like rain, but the sun is trying to come out with a ton of clouds and it's windy. So I'm all set up in HD 1080p, 60 frames per second, EIS on, linear view, and wind noise reduction. Off to this uh, park in Oxford. We'll take a walk around. Here I am, found myself a nice park, and I'm gonna go have some fun. I like to have a map with me so I at least know where I'm going, if I know if it's a red, blue, yellow, green, orange trail. But, can't hunt, dogs got to be on a leash, canoe, hike. Just check out the scenery. Ah, look, my walking stick. I hope it's a good one. Yeah, perfect size. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Not in a great mood for a, a vlog, but here it goes anyway. I got myself a nice walking stick and put a little tape around the uh, edge. And I left myself a little extra tape so I can at least, uh, good morning, how's it going? So I can at least have myself a uh, way to use a monopole, right? Well, let me bring you around the front. Show you where I'm walking at. Gonna have a beautiful day indeed. We'll get some photos for you. Sit back, relax. Enjoy the show. It's pretty, pretty indeed. So this is how I'm vlogging, everybody. Like I said, not in the mood today. Not in the mood. You can see how I'm vlogging and all, right there. And I don't have my monopole. So it allows me to at least share the fun with you in this particular way. A number of years ago, I came out here and back in the late 80s, early 90s. And I had my first generation Honda CRV. I apologize for the angle, it's a heavy stick. And it allowed me to put my Bianchi in the back of the car and head out to Concord to Lexington, 14 mile each way trail. A lot of history, the North Bridge reenactment in the uh, area. I had a great time going on the road and through the farmland. They had a lot of history, a lot of cottages and houses that you were able to put your bike out front, walk inside, and the park rangers reenacted Paul Revere's time, the history. It was a very, very interesting uh, trail I've been on. I miss it. I still can do it while I'm down here. But right now I'm in this particular vicinity that it doesn't pay for me to go buy an inexpensive bicycle. But 
with good karma and you hear me thinking out loud I could have bought a bike left it at the hotel put a chain on it and leave a note with the combination hoping that the next time I come back the bike will be there and we could pass this forward to everybody who wants to simply grab a bike and go along this trail or donate it to a uh, kids foundation or to the police department give it to somebody so I am pretty interested in the things I do have fun let me just uh, give you the camera angle right here show you what the creek looks like what the river I may want to get down there to take a picture on a log but I am slipping right now and back over there there was a log over the water it almost looks like a trail it does so that's my thoughts out loud if I was to uh, ride bicycle and go get one and do what I want with it. and got some uh, course bicyclists here and see what we got see what the river just basically stopped Each of the trails here has maps and you have to know exactly where you're going. I'm going off the beaten path. But we'll walk across it safely and off we go. That's a shaky one. One shaky one's the beginning. <laughs> Thank you. So of course now we change trails and I just want to take note that I've been on a square with a square circle. This one looks like a square with a little spot in it. And I am uh, wish I had my bicycle. I could have seen a lot. If you take a note how I stopped for a second my brain had to process what would be the safe route to go across and then I proceeded safely I hit one in the middle that wasn't really shaking but the very end was the shaking one so I wanted to make sure I had my balance I was doing it safely and off I went I would have ran across it I had no problem, but the older you get, the wiser you are, you do things smart. Well, I am going to continue on this particular way, and I'll walk another 20 minutes out, I would say. It's a quarter after the hour. I got nowhere to go. But I have all the time in the world to enjoy myself. I got some pound cake. I don't have water. But I got a banana.
gonna have my banana soon and just enjoy the rest of the day. I wish I came out here last week and walked the trail. Now it's getting nice out, nice and warm. So let me uh Got a good angle. Love the nature. I come to a T in the road. I got an arrow pointing that way. And I'll show you where it's at on the uh, tree. I have no idea where that trail is going. But I feel it's more for a, uh, not a bicyclist, but a uh, AT, uh, ATV trail. 